Hey everyone, my name is Lauren Frederick and I'm going to talk to you today about different life history strategies of fisheries, specifically the periodic life history strategy. And to help me explain this to you, I have brought with me the game of life to talk about life history strategies. So some characteristics of fish that follow this periodic life history strategy are that their children grow slower so it takes them a longer time to develop and mature and they also are going to produce lots of these guys these are little people on cars but so you're going to produce lots of children um, they also have really large body sizes and they put pretty low investment in their children after they're born so they don't stick around too long afterwards <clears throat> so an example of a fish that follows this life history strategy is this guy or girl, uh, the swordfish. So some fun facts about swordfish, they're the children, it takes them about four to five years to develop. Uh, they also produce, or they lay from one million to thirty million eggs at once, which is a lot, but only a few of those survive. They also can grow, they average around 9.8 feet in length, so that's pretty big for a fish. I mean, that's taller than me, and not to say that I'm that tall, though. <laughs> and they also put pretty low investment in their children, so if you're a swordfish, you're probably not going to get many home-cooked meals at night. Although sometimes, let's face it, I felt like a swordfish growing up, if you know, if I, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so some fun facts also about the environment that these swordfish call home that help to contribute to them demonstrating this particular life history strategy is that they have lots of space to lay eggs. I mean they live in the ocean so imagine it's like living if you're like one of those itty bitty people living you get this entire board to live. So they can be born in a lot of different areas and they're highly migratory so they have lots of food sources and also that therefore because they move around a lot they're going to have a lot of different death um, cause, causes of death and because they're so large they're at the top of the food chain so they don't have many predators so remember periodic life history strategy children grow, grow slower produce somewhat high amounts of children large body size and low investment in these children so there are always exceptions and uncertainties but Learning about these life histories will help us to make predictions about how different fishes live. Thanks for watching.